what is a microcontroller? So a microcontroller is a computer preset in a single integrated circuit which is dedicated to perform one task and execute one specific application. There. So it contains memory, programmable input, output, peripherals, as well as a processor. Microcontrollers are mostly designed for embedded applications and are heavily used in automatically controlled electronic devices such as cell phones, cameras, microwave ovens, washing machines, and etc. Right. Next. Parts of a microcontroller. So, I will discuss to you about the important parts of this controller. The first is the digital I of or input output. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pins for digital output, input and output. And we have 6 PWMs. So what are the PWMs among the uh, 0 to 13 uh, digital pins? So the first one is pin number 3 is PWM, pin number 5 is PWM, pin number 6, pin number 9, pin number 10, pin number 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 PWM in a digital input output. So what is the use of PWM? The use of PWM is to make the DC motor run. Without the PWM, the DC motor cannot rotate. So this is the one responsible to let the motor move and run, right? So it depends also on the program. Next is uh, the analog output or input output pins, right? So analog, there are six pins starting from zero to six, uh, zero to five. So A0, one, two, three, four, and five, right? So this pins are used in uh, uh, the signal like uh, using sensors uh, right so the center part or the middle part is the microcontroller this is the one that uh, control this is one of the most powerful parts in this PCB right so the microcontroller you can see here this is a clear illustration of this if you look at the numbering it's different from the side because the order of the digital and the analog must be separated from each other so the legs are the, the order of legs are like this it's the original setting of this but uh, when it is already put in here the legs are uh, separated into different locations because you have to organize them right so you have to put the digital pins all together at one side and then the analog pins at the other side so let's go to the voltage this is the v in and this is the v out right what he means by v in voltage voltage in and v out means voltage out so voltage in is the from the power source if you have the battery and you connect the wire in the screen this is for the positive and the other one is for the negative which is the ground and that power will power will supply the PCB or the, the controller and the power out is the one responsible to provide power to the devices which are the sensors the modules right okay so we have 3.3 volt that means uh, we use this for some instances like sensors that need only 3 volt so the next is what is digital io in a microcontroller All right so digital io stands for digital input and output so digital input allow a microcontroller to detect logic states and digital outputs allow a microcontroller to output logic states right so io means input output first digital input a digital input detect if a voltage is above below above or below a specific threshold what do you mean by threshold uh, so the threshold is the limitation means uh, the the 
I mean the passates of the vo- the, vo- the voltage. So it depends on how, how much is the threshold set. So if the voltage is above or below the threshold, so the the digital input is responsible for detecting the voltage if it is high and low. So if the voltage is higher than this sum value, the computer will detect the digital input as high and set it to one. So that is why one is high, which is open. And then if the voltage is lower than some value, the computer will detect the digital input as low or clear or zero. So one is on or high, zero is low or up. So digital input plays an uh, important role in disseminating the voltage because digital input uh, can control also the uh, digital input and output at the same time can control the flow of voltage because uh, you can set it using your program right digital output digital output allows you to control a voltage right with the computer if the computer instructs the output to be high the output will produce a voltage right so generally about 5 or 3.3 volts so we talked a while ago this in our V out of volt out if the computer instructs the output below it is connected to the ground and produces no voltage that is why if uh, your device is already mounted and then you connect it to wire so the positive and the negative the one control to that uh, device so the digital output you can uh, set it to no voltage or you can set it to high to have a voltage so if you set it to high that means it has a voltage but if you set it to low that means there is no voltage at all so that is why when you look at the uh, LED when you program if you set the program to turn and off the LED will blink and the blink of an LED depends on the time duration or the the delay all right so the next is what is analog in a microcontroller the analog in a microcontroller is the signals from sensors that measures surrounding natural factors such as uh, temperature pressure and flow rate are often analog signals and most control actuators move according to analog signals so for the analog a lot of devices this time especially in the the with the medical equipments this during this time that uh, many people use the digital uh, temperature to get the temperature of a person and that device uses the microcontroller okay so on the other hand only digital signals can be handled by computers for this reason in order to input a signal from a sensor using computer or to output a signal to an actuator it is necessary to have a device that can bridge the analog signal and the digital signal handled by the computer that bridge is called an analog io or input output interface All right a lot of devices nowadays that are introduced in the market because of uh, technology which is fast growing so the next is sketching power input output so this is how we sketch the power input and output the v, v in and v out so for example this is the power supply this is the battery in the battery we have two lines which is the positive and the negative so the positive line will connect it to the v n so volt in so voltage in and then the negative line will connect it to the ground right so for this instance we have already the power su- that uh, supply with our uh, controller so this controller can provide power to the other device so this is the volt out or the v out voltage out so the supply of this is the 5v connect it to the breadboard in this illustration you can see there is red line at the side and the blue line in this line this is the positive 
and the blue line is for the negative. So you can see here, uh, they are connected uh, horizontally, all the dots connected horizontally. And the other side also are the same, the power source. So since that they are already connected to each other, you can see the highlighted green color in each dot. That means they are connected horizontally. So this is for the positive and this is for the negative. And this is supplied from the controller, right? So they are connected horizontally. And the dots at the middle of the breadboard are connected vertically. So remember, they have the same setting. The dots inside are connected vertically. And the dots outside are connected horizontally so the inside are vertically and outside are horizontally right so there are two parts of uh, power supply in this uh, breadboard all right so the next is setting up Arduino IDE so I will guide you how to set up this IDE this is our official app that we are gonna use for programming so this IDE use the C and C++ for uh, the code of robotics pro programming is just, uh, usually the idea of the Java or the Python programming or C and C++ programming so I will guide you how to set up this IDE uh, I will discuss to you later about the, uh, the materials that we need to buy for our robotics programming after the setup right so first you go to google website i have it already so google website and then you type this right google website and then you type arduino ide you type this one arduino ide enter so the first in line is the official website of arduino so click this so open the page so when you open this you can see the, the main page of the website and you scroll down and you can see the different uh, version of the uh, editor or the IDE so they have for Mac they have for Linux and they have for of course Windows so if you're using Windows please use the first one I suggest uh, use this Windows installer if you know how to use the Windows Zip, it's okay. You can use this one. But this one is easy. Just, just only download and install. And this automatically uh, loaded into your system C. And the shortcut is on your desktop. So this is applicable for Windows 7 and up. Alright. So, I'm not clicking any 